And uh, yeah, that was what I wanted to show you. Okay, any final question here? Yes. Yeah, I want to challenge you. Okay, yes, please, <laughs> do so. <laughs> no, because you're, you're saying that uh, wood is uh, the best solution, but uh. I see many issues. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, I see that it's uh, really applicable to mountain climate. Mm -hmm. But if you, for example, did this in Sicily, it's like a oven. No? Or, uh, I mean, I see many problems connected with wood, but, and I think it's a a good application but not for every application and also for not every climate. Yes. For example it has low thermal uh, uh, police inertia so I mean in a hot climate you know like and uh, not catching the heat and heating the place really yeah. strongly. Yeah, okay, I, I'm, I'm grateful that you bring this up because the massive wood construction is something for cold climates. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to mention this, but, but thank you for, for that. I absolutely agree. Uh, and also, well, it's, it's not for African countries because termites would eat it away in no time. Exactly. So, so degradation is the other problem. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So there, loam construction is uh, a good choice especially in, in climates where the days are very hot, the nights are reasonably cool, because the loam can be uh, built with a thickness that the heat of the day is sort of making a comfortable night climate and so on. So thank you for that. I'm, I'm from a northern climate, so I'm very much in, in this climate. I always have to think of um, other climates uh, as, as well. Yeah, thanks for that. All right, so thanks very much and see you then. See you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. <laughs>